This is the solution to written homework 52. Uh, it's a mixture problem. <clears throat> Find an expression for the amount of salt in the tank at any time. Okay, so for part A, we've got the usual mixture set up here. We've got a tank. It's full of some kind of something. So in it is <clears throat> some kind of mixture. There is a flow of stuff going out, and it's <clears throat> the mixture that's going out. Okay. And we have another solution flowing in. <clears throat> and it has a slightly different concentration. <clears throat> so let's take an account of what's coming in. So let's figure out the volume first. We know that dvdt, well that will be the flow in minus the flow out. According to the story, two gallons per minute uh, comes in. And the resulting mixture flows out at the same rate, so minus two. So dV dt is zero. So then dV is zero dt. So, d, so anti-differentiating both sides. We get V is some constant, and the way that we get that constant is that we use the initial data. The initial data is that TV equal to 0, 100 is a solution. <coughs> so if we take this data and put it in here. That's telling us that C is 100, so V is 100 for all time. Well, that makes sense in the story because it says uh, that you start out with 100 and the fluid is flowing in and out at the same rate. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's figure out the, um, the, salt ma the, the amount of salt. Okay, what we know <clears throat> is that the, the amount of salt is changing and the way that uh, it's accounted for is that you've got salt that's coming in uh, minus salt that's going out. Okay, and generally speaking, Okay, the amount of salt coming in, <clears throat> that is the concentration that's coming in multiplied by the flow in minus the concentration going out times the flow out. Okay. So, dealing with that, ds dt, the concentration coming in, <clears throat> 2T 
two pounds per gallon. Okay, so that's uh, two pounds per gallon. And then the flow rate in is two gallons per minute. So what's coming in if you cancel the units uh, the, the, the gallons uh, cancel. What's coming in is four, two times two is four pounds per minute. Okay, so minus what's going out Okay, so the concentration, <coughs> concentration uh, going out. So the concentration will be S, however much salt there currently is, which is which changes in time, divided by V, whatever the volume currently is. So that's the con the concentration, and then the flow out is to gallons per minute. And so that's what's going out. <coughs> so simplifying DSDT, well that is, um, ignoring the units now, that will be 4 minus uh, 2S over V, and that would be a little bit of a problem because the differential equation, we want it to have only S's and T's, and we have a V here, so that's not good, but we already figured out that V was 100, so DSDT is 4 minus, uh, so 2 over 100 is 50, so uh, S over 50. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the differential equation we need to solve. And the initial data that we have is that T S equal to 0, 20. <clears throat> okay, so we can we can solve this differential equation uh, using say uh, an integrating factor. <clears throat> so putting this into standard form, that's ds dt uh, plus 1 over 50 s is equal to 4 that tells us that 1 over 50 is P in our <coughs> um, integrating factor language. So the integrating factor I of T is exponential of antiderivative of 1 over 50 dt. So that is um, exponential of 1 over 50 t. So I'll, I'll write that as 1 over 50 as 0 0.02 t. <clears throat> so that's the integrating factor. Taking this integrating factor and multiplying all parts of that equation gives us exponential of 0 0.02 t ds dt plus exponential 0 0.02 t multiplied by 0 0.02 which is 1 over 50 s is equal to 4 exponential 0 0.02 t. <coughs> so then the time derivative of exponential 0 point zero two T S is four exponential zero point zero two T <clears throat> so
so the differential of exponential of 0 0.02 ts is for exponential 0 0.02 t dt. So we can anti-differentiate both sides. <clears throat> and that gives us uh, exponential 0 0.02 t s is so four so exponential of 0 0.02 t will be will be exponential of 0 0.02 t divided by 0 0.02 so 4 over 0 0.02 is uh, should be 200 let's check that yes so that is 200 exponential 0 0.02 t plus some constant which I'll write as k <coughs> Uh, we can use the initial data to figure out k. So we know if we plug in t is 0 and s is 20, that should be a solution. So the left-hand side would be 20, because exponential of 0 is 1, is equal to 200, uh, and then this would be times 1 plus k. So that tells us that uh, negative 180 is k. <coughs> and therefore, our current position is that uh, it's exponential 0.02 t s is 200 <coughs> exponential uh, 0 0.02 t uh, minus 180. Okay, so then now, <clears throat> if we divide both sides of exponential by exponential of 0 0.02, wow, running out of room here. <clears throat> then we get the equation s is. Uh, 200 minus 180 exponential negative 0 0.02 t. So this is the answer to part A. So now let's check our understanding and see if that um, makes any sense to us. So at t is 0, at time 0, we should have 20 pounds of salt. So if we plug in t is 0, this is exponential of 0, which is 1, 20, a 200 minus 180 is 20. So, so that's right. Um, <clears throat> the volume is a constant 100. It's going to always be 100 uh, gallons. And there's 2 pounds per gallon uh, coming out of the faucet, out of the source. So eventually, the behavior inside the tank should be the same as what's coming out of here. So there would be 100 gallons of water, each of which has 2 pounds. So there should be 200 pounds of salt. So as T gets big, the exponential of a negative, a, a large negative number, uh, will be close to 0. So this whole term will go to 0. So s will go to 200 as t goes to infinity. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so for part b, what's being asked is what about when t is 60? So the reason why it's t is 60 is because all of this is measured in minutes and one hour is 60 minutes. So plugging in t is 60 into this equation, 200 minus 180 times exponential of negative 0 0.02 times 60. Okay, so then at that point we get S is 145 uh, point seven nine to two places past the decimal. So there'd be 145 pounds of salt uh, in the tank. 
for question C. What happens uh, to the <clears throat> to the salt concentration? So <clears throat> the salt, the limit as T goes to infinity of S will be because uh, of the way this is structured, so that's the limit as t goes to infinity of uh, 200 minus 180 divided by exponential of 0 0.02 t. So this, this term, as t goes to infinity, this factor in the denominator gets arbitrarily big. So one, 180 over arbitrarily big is 0, so this is 200. So in the limit, there will be 200 pounds of salt and therefore the concentration will be 200 over 100 which is 2 so the reason why what the way to interpret what this is saying it's saying that in this uh, experimental apparatus as you run the procedure because because the solu there's solution coming in being mixed and the result is flowing out at the same rate it's coming in, eventually the behavior in the tank, the concentration of the, of the solution in the tank will be exactly the same as the concentration uh, coming out of the faucet. And that's the answer.